Hey, I am so excited that you're here to learn how to make a scrapbook paper tumbler using Crystalite products. If you're new here, my name is Allison and here on this channel, I teach you all about making and selling tumblers as well as finding the joy in crafting. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. In this video, I'm going to be using just regular old scrapbook paper that I got from Joanne Fabrics. You could get it from anywhere. There are more than one way to do this type of tumbler, but I'm gonna show you what I did. I love how it turned out and I hope you do too. Let me know in the comments what you think and let's get started. So as always, start by prepping and applying your base coat. This one I left white, but a lot of times it helps to have a base coat that matches your glitter color. But since I don't really have a rose gold paint, I just kept it white and because it is metallic, it was no big deal. So I am using the Crystalac glitter glue to apply my glitter. I just squeeze it on and brush out any of the glue so that it is perfectly flat. If you have like raised like lumps or streaks when you do your glue, you're going to be able to see that in your glitter. So make sure you go all the way around and brush it out so it is completely smooth. And then I took my rose gold um, that is from Starcraft 143 vinyl. I got it from them. I will link it down below. And I started with the top and the bottom just to make sure um, in case the glue started to dry quickly, I would get those areas first. And I actually ended up getting really great coverage with just one coat. I probably could have done another coat, but I left it just with one um, because I knew I was gonna be covering this with the scrapbook paper. So once you get your glue on, you're gonna wait and let it dry for two hours. If you choose to apply your glitter in a different way, just make sure that you wait the proper dry time for whatever medium that you're using. And then I went over the glue uh, with the glue and a damp brush to seal in my glitter. I just used the damp brush to help spread the glue a little bit better. It just helps it spread. So just again, just like before, you want to make sure that you're brushing it out so that your glue is completely flat um, because it won't self level like the bright tone does. So just go around and get it all sealed and then you're gonna let this dry for two hours again and then roll it in parchment paper to get it nice and flat. I don't have that on video, but once this is dry, you can roll your cup in some parchment paper to get it nice and flat. And then you can go in with your layers of bright tone. Remember that you're gonna do three or four coats of bright tone and then you can give it a light sand with 400 grit sandpaper then do three more coats and sand again and just keep doing that until you have a completely smooth surface. You want to have a very smooth surface before you go adding your paper. So to figure out what size I wanted, I just took a measuring tape to see um, how long all the way around the cup was, which is about nine and a quarter. This is a skinny straight tumbler, so there is absolutely no taper. And if you're going to do something like this, I do recommend um, a skinny straight. It just makes your life easier. And then I decided to measure up and down just to see how um, wide I wanted my paper. So I'm just using a paper cutter and I did want like a specific flower in my design. So I cut my paper at about four and a quarter and then I was going to cut um, nine and a quarter, but I decided to just wrap it around the cup and use my fingernail to mark where the paper meets each other so it could be right exact. And I don't know, I just didn't trust my measurement for some reason. So that's how I did it. You could probably be more sophisticated, but that's what worked for me. So I took the glitter glue and used a foam brush to put a generous amount of glue on this piece of paper. And then I sort of wrapped the paper around the cup, like from the back to the front, and just know that it really does get stuck down um, when you pull the paper up. So it's really best to do the very, very best you can to get it right the first time. I did remove it and try again and it worked, but um, more than one time might be a problem. 
And then right away, I did a coat of glitter glue. So as soon as I got my paper in place and wrapped it around the cup, I immediately did a coat of glitter glue all around the paper, not on the glitter part, but just the paper part. And then I let this dry for two hours. And then I went in with one more coat of glitter glue. So again, just over the paper. And so I did two coats on top. You could do a third, but I think I only did two here um, just to make sure that when I went to do my bright tone, I wouldn't have any issues with the paper. So I just did two coats of glitter glue on top. And then I waited two hours between the first coat and the second coat. And then I waited an additional two hours to let this coat dry. And then I went on to layer my bright tone. I did three, maybe four coats of bright tone over the entire cup. And then I took my 400 grit sandpaper and sanded just the edges. So I wanted to get this evened out before I added any vinyl. So I just sanded the edges, I wiped it clean, and then did three more coats of bright tone. And by that time it was smooth, but if you needed to do a few more coats, you totally could. Um, it doesn't need to be like totally perfect, but definitely pretty good. It really depends on where you decide to lay your vinyl. I cut rectangles that were um, about a quarter of an inch thick. I think they were 0.25 and then I just cut as long as the sheet was, so like 11 and a half inches. And I went all the way around the top of the paper. Um, I did it so this vinyl is sitting on top of the paper, but you could do it so it's sitting on the glitter or so it's splitting. Um, just the way I kind of laid my paper, I didn't do the best job. So then I cut the seam where they overlap so I could pull away the excess vinyl. And then I did the same thing on the bottom portion of the tumbler. So this one, I added the vinyl um, on the glitter part, not on the paper. And that's just because of where I placed the paper. I did it sort of... Um, off center. So again, you can do it on the glitter, on the paper, or splitting in between, just depending on what look you like best. I used the paper as a guide, and then again, where the vinyl overlaps, I cut the seam through both pieces of vinyl, pulled away the top piece, and then if you pull back, you can get the kind of like underneath piece. So it's just one strip of vinyl. And then I added a monogram. Uh, mine was about two inches. I would have made it bigger, but I didn't really measure. And since this is for my mom, I didn't really do um, all that I should. But I just added the monogram. I used my squeegee tool to get this all out. Um, and then I continued on with my bright tone. So this is actually removable vinyl, um, just because it was the pink that I wanted. But you can use removable, permanent, patterned, whatever you want to get this done. So I did a few coats of bright tone before this step. So I did four coats of bright tone and then I sanded just over the vinyl. So don't forget that don't sand until you have bright tone on there. Um, do a few coats of bright tone, let it dry. And then I just sanded the edges of the vinyl and I continued with my coats of bright tone. And I think I only sanded once, but if you need to sand twice, you can until you get a completely smooth surface. If you want to see a vinyl wrap tumbler, click the video on your screen.